Here we presents the top 5 best photo printers. Starting at number 5. HP Tango X printers have mostly been awkwardly large gray boxes that sit around as a bit of an eyesore, until you need them. Sure, you could tuck them away in a hidden corner or drape a lovely bit of fabric over them, but that's hardly an effective solution. Enter the HP Tango X a compact printer that tucks away when you don't need it, and looks more like a thick book than a printer. If you've been craving for a printer that complements your furniture, then HP has you covered, but sadly looks are the only strong point you'll get with the Tango X. What's also strikingly different with the Tango X is how there's no on-screen display or many buttons to press. Most of the control functions are done via the printer's accompanying app, which is both a blessing and a curse. On the plus side it means that the printer sports a super sleek and minimalist appearance, but on the downside, it means that for any issues with printing or errors, you've got to grab your phone and find out what's wrong via the app. For occasional printouts, the HP Tango X is a decent choice for home users. Where things go a bit awry is in its scanning functions and less than impressive app. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Fujifilm Instax SP3. Fujifilm entered the instant camera game with their Photorama series in the 1980s, today we enjoy the benefits of that heritage, with the popular Instax range of instant cameras and printers. One such Instax printer is the Fujifilm Instax Share SP3, a highly portable printer modeled after the Instax SP2. However, the biggest difference is that the SP3 delivers square images rather than rectangle ones. The body of the printer is made from a hardened plastic that has a slight pearl finish the printer is available in both white and black. The build quality is excellent and typical of Fuji products. The top of the printer is where all the action happens. There's a long slit that's sealed with soft material, this is where the prints are ejected, and the padded material squeezes shut to prevent any light leaking into the printer. There's a single LED to indicate battery performance, and a row of 10 LEDs that indicate how many shots are left inside the film cartridge. The Fujifilm Instax Share SP3 is a brilliant portable printer that looks great and combines old-school science with high-end tech. The result is a perfect companion for your photographic journey and education. Halfway of my list at number 3, HP NV5055. The HP NV5055 is a simple all-in-one printer that's meant as a budget option for those with basic needs. Its flatbed scanner meets the needs of most families or students, but the lack of an automatic document feeder makes it less suitable for those who need to scan multi-page documents. It has a two-cartridge system, and both cartridges have poor yield, making its overall cost per print quite high. Also, it prints at a snail's pace, when it comes to black and color documents, although it's much faster at printing photos compared to other printers. Photos look decent, and surprisingly, the printer's color accuracy is excellent. There's no Ethernet or external storage support, but thankfully, you can perform most tasks wirelessly with HP's mobile app. Thankfully, it isn't all bad. The printer feels quite sturdy, except for the rather flimsy output tray, and the power cord is removable, making it easier to replace. Paper jams are easy to remove, as you only need to access a panel by lifting the scanner bed. If you want a printer with a better build quality, then check out the HP NV6055. The HP5055 has a terrible cartridge system. It only has a single color cartridge, and both the black and color cartridge run out quickly, so you'll need to replace them frequently. Luckily, there's a high-yield cartridge available, if you print a lot, and it's eligible for HP's Instant Ink subscription service. If you want a printer that can print more color and black documents, check out the Canon PIXMO iX6820. The printer accepts third-party cartridges as well, but using them may void the warranty. The HP NV5055 is a bad printer for printing black and white documents. The black cartridge runs out very quickly, so it needs to be replaced often, making it expensive to print in the long run. Also, it's slow at printing black and white documents. Coming in at number 2. Canon IP8720. The Canon PIXMA IP8720 was announced in January 2014, and is the successor to the Canon PIXMA iX6520. It is a 13-wide 5-color, dye-based photo inkjet printer. Designed for bold color reproduction on any quality inkjet paper, the IP8720 is a photo printer that should be considered by the graphic designer, agency, business user, and greeting card enthusiast. 
The printer comes with starter ink cartridges. A small amount of ink will be used in the printer setup, but you will still have plenty left to make prints and become familiar with the machine. Once installed you will see a light on the front of the ink tank illuminate and glow steady red. The same light blinks slowly when you're low on ink and quickly once the tank has been depleted. Red River Paper's experience thus far is that the rear tray can hold up to 50 sheets, depending on the thickness of your paper. Photo papers like Luster, Satin, and Glossy at 10. Formula are expertly handled by the IP8720 with no misfeeds. If you're using matte paper or thick media, fewer sheets should be fed in at one time. Fine art stock, canvas, and specialty paper should be fed one sheet at a time. Of particular interest are the borderless print controls. When borderless is selected, you will notice the amount of extension slider appear. When printing without borders, the IP8720 will automatically stretch out the edges of a file to ensure ink covers the edges of the paper. You can increase or decrease this function. Move the slider to the left for more extension. If you have a photo with important details at the edges reduce the amount of extension to avoid those areas being cut off. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. And number 1. Canon PIXMA PRO 100. The PIXMA PRO 100 can print photos up to A3+, which is 133x193. The maximum print quality that this printer can handle is 4800px2400px, 2400 px which equals out to about 250 pi on a 133x193 A3 Plus print. I love that this printer can print borderless so there is no white border around the edges of the print. For me, the print size of the printer is a standout quality. Many other printers in this price category can print this large, and for the style of prints that I do, anything under 11 times 163 is just too small to be very usable. A 13x193 print is a decent respectable size, and it's nice to be able to do prints that large right from my home office. First of all, black and whites have never looked as good as they do on a PIXMA PRO 100. Deep black blacks, gorgeous gradients, and dead neutral grays without any tweaking. They are absolutely fantastic I always edit my photos on a color-managed IMAC 5K I do my color management with a spider colorimeter, which gets the screen quite close to the prints by itself. But the printer also comes with built-in ICC profiles which you'll see available in Photoshop and Lightroom, as soon as you install the printer. The profiles are specific to each type of paper. Since I almost always print on Canon Luster paper, it's nice to have it right there. Overall, this is an excellent relatively low-cost printer that produces pro-quality images. The black and whites are fantastic, and the color is very good. The real question is if you want to get the PIXMA PRO 100 and save some cost initially, or if you want to spend more upfront to get the newer version which is a slightly lower cost of ink cartridges. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and 